Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be setting up UCCNC motion control software to be used with a Gecko G540. So I've already downloaded the UCCNC motion control software EXE. Um, you'll do that on cncdrive.com. Once you've done that and you go through the Windows prompt asking you if you'd like to install the software and you have to give it permission, you will then see this message here where it's asking you what language you want the software to be installed in. I want English, so I'm going to click OK. And here, and it says, Welcome to the UCCNT Setup Wizard. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to say, I accept the agreement. It's asking me the default folder it wants to install, and Setup will install UCCNC into the following folder. Of course, by default, I will select this. Now, just so you guys know, I already have this installed. So therefore, when I go to click Next, I'll get a warning. If you don't have it installed already, which most of you will not, then you will not get this warning. See that? Already exists. Would you like to install the folder anyway? Yes. Now it's going to ask you what unit of measure you'd like the software to be installed using. You can go with Imperial or you can go with Millimeters. In this uh, default installation, I'm just going to go with Millimeters. Click Next. And now we're going to go Install. It's going to go through the normal logic of uh, the progress bar. Okay. If using a USB motion control, then plug it into the USB port and select the install drivers automatically if asked. Press OK button after the driver's installation process finish. Otherwise, press OK now. Now, just so you know, I do not plan on using a UC100 in this demonstration or a UC400 Ethernet controller in this presentation. I'm just showing you the configuration of UCCNC. However, if you are installing a UC400 or UC100, then now is the time you'll go through and you'll see you'll want to have everything set up to be turned on and plugged in. Run UCCNC, yes, and finish. Now it says select the motion control device to use from the list. Once again, if you're using a UC100, you'd select that. If you're using a UC400, you would select that. Please keep in mind, you can see my software says demo because I'm running in demo mode because I'm not using UCCNC. Yours will not say demo. It will say whatever you're going to be using as far as whatever piece of hardware you're going to be communicating with the software with. <clears throat> okay, we are now in UCCNC. You'll see your reset is flashing. You can reset that. Then you're going to come over here to settings, click on it, and this is very self-explanatory for the most part. You'll definitely want to come over here and review your kernel frequency, in which case it's set at 100. If you're using an Ethernet controller, it will go much higher than that, I believe up to 400. Pay attention to that once again as you do not want to exceed what the G540 can handle. Your drivers dictate the speed of your kernel frequency along with your PC. Most PCs, the modern ones, will easily handle 100 kilohertz. I recommend you all set it there because that is the maximum communication speed with the G540. Then we're going to come over here to Axis Setup. And you can see our X axis, step pin 2, direction pin 3, port 1. Y axis, step pin 4, direction pin 5, port 1 also. Z axis, step pin 6, direction pin 7, port 1 also. Your step pin on your A axis will be 8, and your direction pin then will be 9. Once again, port 1, port 1. If you want to enable it, you just Click on Access Enable. Now, one other thing I want to point out real quick is if you guys are running dual Y-axis motors and known as a slave configuration, you'll want to come over here and dictate what axis you're allocating to help the Y-axis motor. So it would normally be under A-axis, so you would set that up. Then once that's all set, you got your I.O. set up. And again, E-stop pin, we want to go on 15 and port 1. An active low will be dictated based on how your switch is set. Most switches act in an active low, and I recommend using active low. So you would just check that box, and you'll be set. And everything there is all set. You then would click Apply Settings and Save. Saving Settings is done. You're all set, and then you can go to your main. And everything here will be set to go. You should be able then to use your arrow keys to jog the axis. And you can see if I'm moving my arrow keys, you can see on the screen the DROs are moving. So again, very easy to work with. 
once you've jogged out of position and you want to go back, just click go to zero and everything will go right back to home. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you. Take care.